Hello, hey, I'm really glad I get a chance to talk with you. Katie asked me, how did you get started with the sunscreens? And the short version of that story is that I noticed Margaret and Shipping using a chemical sunscreen in the winter. And I said, hey, Margaret, why are you using that sunscreen in the winter? And she said, I've had skin problems and my dermatologist said I need to use a sunscreen every day. So reading the ingredients on that sunscreen got me to thinking about could Badger make a sunscreen that was simple, safe, clean, effective, broad spectrum? And I didn't know much in those days. I know a lot more about sunscreens now. But in my research, I saw that zinc oxide, which has a 300-year history of safe use, is a fabulous broad spectrum sunscreen. So basically, we mixed it with our after sun balm and sent it to a lab to test and sure enough it wasn't the most aesthetic of sunscreens in the world but it was effective safe skin nourishing got the job done but a strange thing happened to the whole world of sunscreens in this country and really worldwide ewg environmental working group did a study on sunscreens and what they said was we we note in looking at the listed ingredients on sunscreens that the majority of them don't protect against both UVA and UVB radiation. So think B burns, protect against UVB, but UVA, A aging, and also potentially uh, contributing to skin cancers, they don't protect against UVA radiation. And the majority of them contain ingredients that are either uh, potentially carcinogenic, carcinogenic or endocrine disruptors. And then they said, if you want to find a good sunscreen, come to our website. So this was the first year that the EWG in their skin deep section had sunscreens rated. And out of 761 sunscreens, Badger was listed as number one. And so we sold our year's supply of sunscreens out in about a week. And then we had to scramble to try to get back in stock. And it was amazing. People wanted a safe sunscreen. They really wanted one that would give them broad spectrum protection. And they wanted one that would be good for their skin and have no toxic ingredients. And we had it. So that was the start of our sunscreens. And um, we just kept going from there. We kept asking ourselves, how can we make it even safer, better, more aesthetic, easier to apply? all those things. That's how we did it.